there are threats from, uh, from, from all sides. The uh, defence establishment itself, while it uh, is remarkably appreciative at times of the criticisms that have come uh, from this place, uh, have uh, mostly tended to, uh, to, to accept it. Our, our initial money uh, from uh, Sir Arthur Tang. Uh, Sir Arthur uh, wrote many angry letters to uh, O'Neill, which uh, I later found when I subsequently inherited the files as head of the centre. O'Neill uh, defended uh, me and my work and the centre's work on the grounds that we were at a, a university centre. and. Uh, uh, it was up to the university to make the appointments and once the appointments were made for their research uh, scholars to proceed with, with their work as they should do. Uh, Tang never threatened to withdraw uh, the funding. Subsequent secretaries on the other hand took uh, different positions. Uh, Tang's successor, Bill Pritchett, he played a central role in uh, in getting me uh, removed from the Rand Corporation in 1982, where I was working as a consultant on uh, very uh, uh, high-level strategic operational issues, strategic nuclear targeting. How do you target the Soviet Union? What should the targets be? What weapon systems should be allocated to those targets? What were the command and control systems that you really needed? when you got into that nuclear exchange. And what were the implications for places like Australia? <laughs> of course, we've also had uh, criticisms from within the university. Uh, before my time in the centre, 1974, when, uh, when Bob replaced uh, Tom Miller, Tom was uh, an advocate or a supporter of our involvement in the Vietnam War. Uh, and as the anti-war movement uh, began to surge uh, on campus, uh, some of the centre activities began to attract student, critical student uh, attention. It was not in some ways a, a good start for the, uh, the centre.